comme une institution organique de l'unité européenne. This agreement lays the foundation of something new and hopeful in European life. Europe has to clarify its message, explain what it's there for. It's interesting that actually this crisis has not come from Europe, but it's come from the United States. So we must be very careful that we don't, for the third time, uh, uh, create a crisis in Europe because of following too slavishly an American model. My aim is not to make people love the EU, but I do want them to see more clearly how it affects their lives and how it can do more to improve their lot. This is the route to change people's minds about the EU. Their hearts are their own business. My name is Amy Moorcroft. I am a student and a first time voter in the 2009 Euro elections. This following Jean Manet European Centre of Excellence Lab video at the University of Leeds includes interviews with EU officials and others interested in the future of democracy in the EU. And by the way, yes you, you decide by voting. One of the problems with the European elections is, of course, your MP represents a fairly small constituency. Your Euro MEP represents a much larger constituency. It's a list system, which is not common for any part of the UK except Northern Ireland. Therefore, I think the whole process is quite difficult to engage with. Historically, turnout is quite low, but the UK would not be alone in that, actually. It's quite common across the rest of Europe. And I think the important thing, again, is to focus on the issues and try to explain to people why using your vote matters and indeed the slogan that the European Parliament has chosen for the uh, Euro elections in June 2009, June next year, is use your vote. It's a democratic system and uh, as uh, democratic citizens you have maybe a duty, maybe even an obligation, I don't know, to use that vote. Uh, European Union is part of the daily life of the citizens so we must, it's up to the, govern, the, the governments to, to explain to their to the people, to the population, to the, the electorates, that yes, it's necessary that they participate because uh, uh, there is now an inter interdependence between all of us. We are what we are. We keep our national traditions, we keep our, our soul and all that, but we need to be united on certain issues, which I was mentioning, in particular climate change, in particular, in particular uh, fight against poverty and development, uh, in particular immigration issues. So these are things which touch the daily life of the people, but we need uh, on these issues to have something common. And we, to express this commonality of views, we need to go to the ballot box and give our ballot and cast our vote. They should be voting in the European elections, and particularly women, because of the huge impact that European legislations had on British women's lives. So, for instance, the social chapter that was introduced from Europe, giving people the right to flexible work, if you have children of a certain age, looking at um, additional holidays so families can spend time together, uh, paternity leave's been introduced. There's a whole range of issues to support women and families to make sure that they get a good quality of life, look after their families well. Um, so I'm very keen on Europe and I think we really should be voting in June in those elections to make sure that our voices are heard across Europe. Across Europe and indeed across many other countries, uh, politics is increasingly complex. Life is very difficult for many people 
and it's hard, particularly in this sort of media age where, you know, sort of nanoseconds and uh, sitting at your computer console all day, it's very hard to see how politics are relevant to you and therefore to see why European politics, which are at one remove, are relevant to you is even harder. And I think it's the job of uh, those countries that signed up to the EU, Britain being one of them, and indeed to those institutions that provide the sort of policy-making machine, which would be the European Commission that I represent, to try and explain what it is that Europe does and why. And over the last uh, couple of years, where we have seen uh, the, the general attitude moving uh, in the positive direction, uh, probably having to do with uh, politicians speaking more about Europe and uh, also the government, the current government we have in Stockholm right now, uh, being uh, very clear on the positive dimension of, of participating in the European project.